Arriving in Vermont in July, coming from the hot city, felt like landing on another planet. Peaceful, yet restless, I struggled to articulate my feelings. Trying to make a new video, I felt a kind of pressure to match the enthusiasm echoing around me, an outpouring of joy on my behalf, rightfully celebrating the good news. The news of this first scan was about the most exciting news I could possibly have to share, but for me it'll actually be more exciting when I have the second one, which will probably be about five months from now. If that one looks good, then I'll know, like, I'll be in great shape. With news of permission, it seemed there was only every reason to rejoice. But having been let down by results before, I could not do this. And I struggled to articulate my thoughts for a new video. Well, it's been two weeks since I released the video sharing my good news, which was exciting. Um, I wanted to create a follow-up to that, but it turned out to be really hard to do so because my complicated my feel because actually my feelings about it are pretty complicated. Um, it feels like a very fragile thing. A friend of mine who has also been dealing with cancer and had a very bad prognosis is also in remission, and he referred to it as the R word, and it that it really, for him, means more like roller coaster. There's a good possibility I can remain in remission, but I think I won't be able to rest easily until five months from now and I have the next scan. Um, right now, it just feels so shaky, but it still, obviously, is really wonderful news, and every now and then it sinks in that I am in good health, and it's, it's amazing. Winter came, and suddenly it was time to go back to New York and have that second scan. Okay, so it's five to six months later since my last scan. I'm about to go in and get the results. I think 60% of myself thinks that it'll look not good. Um, yeah, I've been anticipating this moment for a while, so here it comes. Because I'm pretty nervous. As I feared and expected, the scan was not clean. It showed questionable spots on my liver. I had to return later for a biopsy to determine what these spots were. I waited for weeks, mostly spending my time as I had been for the months before, working outside. Also practicing my violin and making crazy music like what you're hearing now. So, just after I cut that last log, I finally got the call from the hospital. Um, letting me know those spots on my liver were in fact the Hodgkins coming back, or back, which I was totally expecting. It wouldn't have seemed like it could have been anything else. And the way I talked to the doctor when I saw him after the scan showing the spots, they, they took a long time. This is just kind of confirmation that I still am on this roller coaster and um, can expect a lot more challenges to come in the next year, which um, I guess I'm strangely used to at this point just because I was knocked down to such a low point before and now I have such good strength that it's like I almost feel like ready for it. I, so I still feel like I have this new lease on life and I have something I didn't
this time last year. I really thought I was going to die and I saw no hope, but now I do have hope. This is like the beginning of the second chapter. That was the first five years before, and now it's part two. Five years of treatment brought me remission. Now I'm out of it, a little more cancer. See where it goes. <sighs> This week, I will go have my first cancer treatment in more than six months, resuming a course of immune therapy called Getruda, from which I can expect little to no side effects. Hopefully, this will bring me back into remission. From there, I will have a bone marrow transplant with the hope one day being cured for good.